Hello, I'm EpicX Toy Cat, and welcome back to episode 487 of the Minecraft Bedrock updated. Wait, one sec. Episode 487? Do you ever just think to yourself, like, wow, we've been going for a really long time? Like, how is anyone ever meant to join this series? I mean, if it's weekly and we're at that many episodes, you know, I don't like to think about it too much, but what I do like to think about is what we're doing to date, because I've got myself some Nevrak, and I've also got myself some Acacia Wood. I'm gonna need a lot of these Acacia Logs, but fortunately, I did chop down an entire savannah forest recently, See, it all, all ties in together, and so I have all of these acacia logs, and so I'm going to be using these to make a lot of signs, which sounds very weird and bizarre, but allow me to explain in today's update adventures. Let's play. Because I am still working on the maybe bizarre, but very fun in my opinion, uh, Neverack Mountain slash Neverack Volcano, and as you can see, I've got myself lots of Neverack. A lot more Nevrak than I figured, actually. <laughs> Several boxes filled with it uh, that I need to be placing on this mountain. And uh, so I've done that for the most part. You can see there's a few tiny bits that aren't fully covered, but we've mostly covered the mountain in Nevrak. It's great. However, now that means, you know, for it to be a Nevrak volcano, you need to have uh, some point at the top where there's lava spewing out, etc. And so that point is what I've decided will be here. But then, you know, rather than just having lava spew out, because that's no fun, I want to have something inside of the volcano. I've always been inspired by Super Mario 64's Lava Lava Land. Uh, this idea of like you jump in the volcano and there's like a whole other world going on in there. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be building a rim around here. As you can see, this is uh, a rim or the rim. Is it a rim or the rims? And so it's gonna be, uh, I guess, I guess it has to be the same height all the way around. So we'll make it like this height. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some signs to do something, which doesn't make any sense that you should be able to use wooden signs to do. Um, but I, I think you'll enjoy what we get up to there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And you know what, isn't the let's play always a lot of fun? I guess you can have your own response to that. But what you can't have your own response to um, is uh, the fact that, uh, you know, like I, I wanna talk more about something which I dove into very briefly, but Minecraft Earth has been canceled. And I'll most people don't play that version of the game, but there's this really interesting, uh, you know, like thing about, uh, you know, that particular story because that is, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, and, and also take for instance the banning situation in Minecraft. Minecraft now has the ability to ban you for pretty much any reason. They give a list of reasons they will ban you, but they hold the right to ban you for any reason and take away your rights to play Minecraft. And there's a lot of uproar about this. I've actually had a lot of people ask for me to talk about it, and I kind of do want to, and you know, no doubt will at some point. But it raises this interesting kind of uh, dilemma which is like, how do you tell stories on the internet? This is something that comes up a lot because I talk about uh, geopolitics on the second channel. Um, but the, sto the question of how do you tell a story is a really tricky one. I used to think when I was younger, there was such thing as like a perfectly unbiased way to share a piece of information. Like, oh yeah, you just say the facts. People who say anything else are not telling you the facts. Like, you know, there's, um, let for example, Minecraft uh, Earth, uh, went through, uh, like, it was just cancelled at the start of this year, like, basically January 1st of this year. They cancelled that game. By the way, let's make some Acacia signs. I can apparently only make one? Why? What am I missing? Oh, Acacia. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I have so many Acacia logs. How am I? But it's because they're logs and not planks. And then we, so we make some planks, we make some signs, and then, oh god, we have an inventory issue because we, you, you know, we'll, we'll deal with this in, in a little bit. We'll just throw some of these... I wish I didn't have this box being perfectly full. We'll throw some of these into there, and now we can pick up this, and then we'll we'll, we'll make a crafting table up there to deal with it. But yeah, I'm going to be placing uh, these acacia signs all the way along the cross at, at, at top. It's going to be a lot of fun, or is it going to be a lot of fun? Is that just me being optimistic? Who knows for sure. But I'm going to be placing it. I guess one block down makes sense here, so we'll place it like. No, actually, I want it to kind of flow over from the top, the tiniest bit. So we'll place. Our, no, I wanna, I, I, we, we can deal with that later. So we can place signs. We're not gonna write anything on the signs. They're just gonna be signs. And then from those signs, we place other signs and so on and so forth. And the cool thing about this, you can probably see that all this is going ready. The cool thing about placing signs down is you can place fluids on top of those signs and they, will, uh, they won't go through them because the sign counts as a full block, even though it's not sort of. But yeah, so like uh, when it comes to telling a story, you have a lot of... Um, freedom about how you tell it and you as as the storyteller you have the ability to kind of uh, you know tell, tell certain details how you want and I used to think there were just facts that you could tell like yes the way you know Minecraft Earth uh, was shut down because of the pandemic those are just the facts right except you know what hasn't hasn't that been going on for like nine months and so in reality if it was like a sudden decision because of 
that one event that just happened. It would have happened a while ago. So in reality, it wasn't shut down because of that event. Uh, that event was just the killing blow. It was already near the edge, and then that happened. Also, you know, uh, like, uh, or maybe they were hoping that it would recover sooner, but it didn't. But at the same time, the same company that assumed that uh, has not planned a Minecon 2021, Minecraft Live, Minecraft, whatever that, Mine Festival. So like, uh, it's like, okay, so you look at the the situation and you're like, oh, yeah, that's just an easy world way to tell the story. Uh, like, if you, uh, you know, like telling the actual truth of a situation is a lot harder uh, to do than to, uh, you know, like telling the full truth is, uh, is a hard thing to do because you have to reveal a lot of facts that maybe you don't want to. And, uh, you know, the reason that this is all coming up is because I was thinking recently about uh, something I learned. Uh, I, I've got some personal, uh, like, details. Uh, like, I, I guess I won't dive in too deeply. I'll just say, like, you're not... I learned, you, one of the important things, that, like, I've always known is true, like, off the top of my head, but you just assume it's for other people, is, like, learn about uh, the things that are prevalent in your family. You're way more likely to catch, I think it's, like, a bunch of diseases, uh, diabetes, cancer. Uh, these sorts of things are, are much more likely. Uh, even, like, um, Parkinson's and uh, ALS, and they're, they're very genetic-based disease. They can happen randomly, but it's not actually usually that it's happening randomly. It's that it's happening because you didn't know about the family member that had it. Or maybe it is a random mutation, but it's, again, more likely to be one of those things than the other. And um, so, uh, you know, like, I was thinking about, like, you know, the family history or whatever. Like, the, the version of your family history that you have been told is a version that is, no doubt, quite flattering, right? You are told a version of events that is, uh, like, flattery. Uh, not flattering, I wouldn't say, but, like, is the, the most ideal version of the events. People like to share the positive picture uh, for things happening uh, around them, right? Because, uh, like, it's it's hard. No one wants to believe that they're living a a, a, a bad life and that they're, they're doing bad things. So, like, when we tell morality situations, we're like, oh, yeah, but, like, uh, you know, like, they're just a good person who does bad things, unless you di dislike them, in which case they're a bad person who always does bad things. It's like, um, the, the most famous example of, like, the narrative bias of something is, like, if you do something bad, you assume it's because, oh, yeah, you just, it was the circumstances. Like, you, you had to speed because you needed to get somewhere quickly, but when someone else speeds, you're like, oh, this, this, this madman, this lunatic who doesn't know about the rules of the road. Uh, you know, you assume that other people do things because they're bad people. You assume you do bad things because, like, oh, yeah, well, the situation warranted it. Even though someone else in your same situation, you would put as being... Uh, you, you you would assume they did some bad things. And so, uh, when, when you look at, like, any story, it's viewed through the lens of, like, assuming certain things. And, you know, we, we could tell that with, like, family and stuff where it's like, oh, yeah, you're never going to hear the story that your mother's like, oh, yeah, so uh, the way I met your father is I was feeling really sad and lonely, and you know what, he was just that, you know, <laughs> you're not going to hear some version like that. You're never going to hear that, like, you know, it, it, that isn't true for most people, but it's true for some people. When so One of the things that's always annoyed me, when someone dies, they are always seen as a saint. And it's like, you know, no one ever goes, yeah, actually, I didn't really like him that much. Kind of glad he's dead. And, you know, even though that's great, because it's, um, you know, it's, it's us being really nice towards the dead people. It then, it, it makes it hard to actually work out who is actually, you know, being largely missed. There are, there are some people... Who like some people are like oh yeah you know I I wish he hadn't have died but you know it's it's not it's not a terrible thing for the world that he did I wish we'd hear about that more often because we you know you don't speak it of the dead it's like one of the human traditions that goes back forever but now it means that when someone dies you genuinely don't know like were they a good person did they do uh, you know what were they like actually great or are people just saying that because they're dead now And then when someone actually is great and they're so great everyone wants to talk about it You're like ah, uh, they're just saying that you know she was she was well he, he or she were probably very uh, you know terrible human beings and you you, you, you lose the knowledge you use the ability to know also what is this huh okay well we've got <laughs> I've got a little tunnel going on down here it seems huh yeah this is very bizarre I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave that be I'm just gonna 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 leave that for some other day. Also, I'm gonna make a chest for all of this dirt because I do want to keep it, and I have a. You know, what, have have I have I mentioned my inventory management issues ever? I don't think that's ever come up. So allow me to right now mention for the first time. Did you know I I am bad at storing <laughs> inventory things? Yes, I, I I know you will be shocked to hear this, but I am in fact not the most ideal at this. Okay, there we go. Just throw that in there. Okay, lots and lots of dirt. Throw that in there too. It'll be great. But, um, yeah, so, um, there is this, uh, this interesting narrative bias. When you tell a story, you generally tell yourself as being, like, the good person in it. Um, you know, you are the hero of your own story. And this is, this is something that's really nice that, like, you don't have to be a villain in your own story. If you are a villain in your own story, you're doing something 
most of society isn't. But it also has the kind of uh, problem of like, you can severely, uh, it makes it hard to have objective information that shares from person to person. Take for example, um, the political issue of immigrating to a country in an illegal fashion, right? This, this is one of those ones that always fascinates me because it's the same issue being spoken about from in such entirely different perspectives that people literally can't even understand each other. Like, people speak literally different languages because the different language allows you to prove your point a little better uh, on this one. And you might say like, oh, well, they don't speak literal la different languages because in my dream country, there's no illegal immigration play cat or some bizarre thing like that. But think about it like this. Like, um, when you're referring to someone who has come through a country's borders illegally and uh, is not there as part of the system, you can either refer to them as like an undocumented immigrant if you're like, yeah, well, they're just someone who doesn't have their documents, uh, you know, kind of glossing over uh, you know, the nature of like, I guess you dog, it's a crime or something. Or you could go for like, oh, they're an illegal, they're an alien, I think. <laughs> you know, you're trying to make them this foreign being that has no relation to you, that you have no obligation to because they're they're from some other set of borders and therefore you don't care. Like you, one, one, one word ignores the humanity of the situation and one word ignores the illegality of the situation. You know, like uh, in an ideal world, you'd find a, a word that both sets of people could use. But the, the general truth is we use language uh, that like fits into like the groups of people that we're around. We we use words, uh, you know, like if you if you go into the the you know like the it, when when you have a really thick accent, even you're saying the same words, just kind of crazy different. Uh, people assume a certain thing about you, like different. Your your the way you even speak can uh, you know like affect people's um, opinion of you. So of course the direct words that you're saying will affect how people perceive you. So depending on where you are, maybe if you're in a super um, you know, like some liberal place, you, you might say one word. If you're in a super conservative place, you might say the other word. But also depending on how you want to present the the argument, right? Like, uh, you know, like if, if you look at some, uh, you know, like if you look at some protesters, if you don't like them, they're rioters. If you look at some rioters and you do like them, they're just protesting. You know, there's, <laughs> there's so many um, like double standards on how we can refer to things based on whether we like the people in the events. Again, is someone a criminal or are they someone who committed a crime? Is someone a um, a drug addict or are they someone who is using drugs? Um, even um, one of the one of the craziest terms is like uh, you know someone someone died and uh, oh, sorry someone yeah, like a um, a, 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 pr a prostitute of some form died and they're like, is this someone who was doing that as a job or was it a prostitute? I mean, they, they have lots of other things in their life, but yet you you might refer to me as a YouTuber. That doesn't imply that I'm not also other things besides a YouTuber. There's so many like complexities to how you can even use words that are basically descriptive um, and make, you know, that makes things more complex because you, uh, you know, we, we know that psychologically it does impact things. Like, should criminals go to jail? Yes. Should people who commit crimes go to jail? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it really, like, it, it shifts public opinion, and because we live in a world where public opinion is everything, even if we didn't, even in countries where, like, there isn't a democracy per se, there is still an importance of, like, following what the people believe and shifting what the people believe so that it matches what you're trying to do, right? And um, so this, uh, you know, th this whole concept is something that I, I think we've always, always known for, like, uh, you know, for politics and for geopolitics, for events that are controversial, people are going to want to put their own spin on there, also, I should probably clarify what we're doing here. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's, <laughs> let's take a break from sign placing. Just to confirm this works, I did... You know what? This one has a Y on it. Now, now you like that. Um, but let's just quickly go confirm. Uh, we're gonna have to go grab a bucket from somewhere. We'll go grab multiple buckets, actually. You know what? I'm gonna treat myself to lots of buckets. I know where the buckets do happen to be stored as well. Right over here. I'll just make sure to bring them back. Filled with lava as always. Oh no, please don't tell me I filled all the buckets. Oh, I did. I... I did fill all the buckets, and I guess, actually, you know, look, we'll just take some, and then uh, we'll put the, 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 the regular bucket back in here. In case you're curious, I always have some form of glass smelting going on. Like, glass is just such a long effort material to get the quantities that you need when perhaps you're laminating the end or something. So, like, you know what? That, that's why that's a thing. So now we're going to take these lava buckets, and you can probably see where this one's going, but we're going to place it down. Or are we going to be doing something pointless Again, who knows for sure? That's your, that's your own decision and your own set of words you use. And as you can see, the lava, even though it will light fires, it will never burn the signs. I don't know why it doesn't burn the signs. Actually, I think it should burn the signs. I could be wrong. Like, uh, I, I looked into the, the wiki and the wiki page says that on bedrock, signs are flammable. But flammable maybe just means that they spread fire. Or maybe it means worse things. We're going to find out 
And if it means the first one, I'm going to lose a lot of sign progress if it means the first one, huh? Nah, we'll find out. <laughs> also, let's see how many blocks of uh, dirt have to be removed from here before the, they stop catching fire. Is two enough? Is there now going to be no more fire? Have I resolved all the issues? Or will I need more? I genuinely don't know. But yeah, the idea here is I want to have a volcano where it's one layer of lava, but you can fly through the lava. If you're brave, you can jump through the lava. Maybe I'll have some water on the other side too. But if you jump through the lava, you'll find what's actually on the other side. This, this fun little volcano thing. And I don't know how good of an idea that really is. Also, look, I can burn myself a tiny bit by doing this. Is that smart? <laughs> <laughs> Objectively, no. <laughs> but am, am I gonna do it anyway? You better believe I am. See, so yeah, I'm gonna place some more lava up there in a little bit. I'm gonna play things cautiously for now, though. I just place some signs, and we're gonna place them on the right here so that if they do burn, they shouldn't. They they didn't in my testing. But you never know in Minecraft Bedrock. You never know. Uh, that's the key thing. But yeah, so when it comes to a story, um, you know, like uh, we we always know that about like okay. So when it comes to certain things, people are gonna be trying so hard to convince us. Like when someone tells you. You know, and someone's always the victim of something, you're like, hmm, I wonder, is it just true that a lot of people really do happen to randomly, with no benefit for themselves, do bad things to you? Or maybe are you misconstruing those events? Are you putting your, you know, are you are you missing out the bad, like, oh yeah, I was I was with this guy, and then he just left. Oh, you know, I, actually, let's make this a male character. You know, I, I was, um... I was going on a date with this girl, and then, you know, out of nowhere, things were going really well. She just decided to to leave in the middle of the date. I'm going to ignore the fact that, uh, you know, like, midway through there, I was asking, like, so, you know, if I would... It, I'm going to ignore the fact... I'm not going to mention the fact that I mentioned, as a joke, the, like, ha, 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 you know, if I wanted to kill you right now, I totally could. No one would know. I mean, we're in a dark alleyway by ourselves. I mean, not that I'm going to, ha, 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 but I could. Lol, ha, 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 ha. You know, like, um, you know, like, people will leave out... Uh, certain details that don't make their case. Which is part of the reason we have, like, court systems, right? Like, of course someone's going to, you know, like, we we have this idea that, like, oh yeah, people would never accuse someone wrongly of a crime. It happens all the time. And then, uh, you know, then, then we have a legal system to hear both sides and see which side sounds more credible based on the evidence they present. Like, it's, it's a really basic thing that, like, uh, you know, like, everyone uh, kind of intuitively understands. When you think about it, it's like, oh yeah. Even though most people aren't just making something up from scratch, People are selectively understanding the universe around them uh, because, you know, like, we, we need to believe certain things about ourselves. And so one of the things I realized about this recently, the reason that I brought the family thing um, is because, you know, let's, let's do real talk. Um, the reason I bring that up is because I kind of realized something uh, was in, you know, something that I didn't realize, uh, like, uh, was in the family uh, that I, I, I didn't think about before. And I was like, oh, yeah, because, of course, you're not going to, you don't bring that up to, you know, like, especially to children. Then when that, like, br bringing up bad news from a while ago is a really hard thing to do. If you don't bring up something immediately, it's hard to work out when you should do something. And so if something happened bad in the past that maybe has some bad ramifications on you, you know, why should you mention that? Like, you know, if I killed someone 20 years ago and I've never admitted it to my YouTube channel, when, you know, when's the right time for that? I mean, I probably haven't done that. Ha ha ha. Every now and then I make jokes about killing someone and being like, you know, what? do you do it? Do you not kill people because it's illegal, or do you not kill people because you don't want to? It. I make that every now and then. Someone's actually gonna assume I'm murdering someone. You know, what? probably not true, or is it? You don't know because of how I'm bringing this one up. But no, um, so I learned something, uh, and it was like, oh yeah, so like that, the the story was told very slightly differently. There's like a a little bit of missing history, and it means basically that like, oh yeah, you have to watch out for something, like, you know, maybe there's a, a mental health concern of somewhere in there that you should just keep an eye on, okay? And it's like, okay, yeah, that's the thing I now do, uh, or I try to do, and they're like, make some things make some sense, like, oh yeah, that's why that's like that, that's why this is like this. And so one of the things about this is, um, I was thinking about, you know, the same thing about, like, oh yeah, the word you use to describe people can entirely affect people's opinions on them, um, you know, like, uh, the words... The words you use to describe your own behavior will affect whether people think you're in the right or the wrong or whatever. Like, this is a thing we all know, I, I hope at least. Uh, if you don't know, hopefully I explained it to you well in this video. But something I think we don't think about is that we sometimes do that to ourselves. Most people will, you know, even though I was just saying, people generally tell themselves to be the good person in a situation because no one wants to believe they're a bad person. You're a good person who did a bad thing. I think some people get that, like, wired the wrong way. And they do it in the opposite sense. They they don't believe that they are a uh, a good person who did a bad thing, or they're a good person who does mostly good things. They're like they did one bad thing, 
and now they're a bad person forever. And I want to, I want to like, uh, you know, share that with as many of you as possible, because I know this is this is a thing I can tell from the various things I see on the the internet and the responses people have on themselves. It's like really easy to cast yourself as being the bad person in a situation. If no one is willing to do that, it's easy to put yourself in those shoes. Like you know what, the reason you didn't get a thing like. This is a thing I, I I think I've always been bad at doing myself. Like, you know what? The reason that I didn't do this thing that I needed to do, because I, like, I look at other YouTubers and a lot of YouTubers will be like, oh yeah, I'm just not feeling a thing today. Feel sorry for me that I, I didn't do the thing. Or like, you know, like, uh, it, it's very common for YouTubers to assume that they're, um, they are in the, uh, you know, they, they have that whole thing where like, they control the information. So they tell a story to make sure that they're in the right, etc. And so I assume, and, and you know, there's so many, Situations where it's clearly like a lazy youtuber or, or something like that um, Like I, I've, I've got untold stories of like uh, youtubers who are like, oh, yeah I just couldn't do this thing because that and uh, basically it's like oh, yeah You can look at that and you can see that exact same thing and so I was assumed like no, okay I'm not gonna be that person like when when something uh, Bad happens. It's on me, you know like that if, uh, if if I didn't make a video like I didn't last Tuesday uh, that's because I was lazy, and you know, I it felt lazy. I was recovering from getting back from travel, like, blah, 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 like try, trying to set things up for the future, trying to work on the second channel. But I didn't post a video on the OBX Toy Catch channel last Tuesday, therefore I am lazy, and therefore, you know, like, I deserve whatever bad things. And it's really easy to, like, ref it's, it's called reframing, like, a, a big part of therapy is working out uh, what events you should reframe in your head, like, just knowing the same, you know, knowing the exact same information but just knowing it from a very slightly different perspective can do huge wonders for people. Also, there we go, okay. The lava's now working how I'd expect. I don't know why, oh no, I do know why. This this actually does make some sense. Okay, we're good. So we got ourselves the tiniest bit of mountain and lava, and we just gotta place a bunch more signs, and then we're good to go. But anyway, so um, I I, I think reframing frames is like an important thing. Working out when you're not a bad, because when you think you're a bad person, why would you do nice things for yourself? Like, you know, if you're if you're a lazy person, uh, then why would you why would you exercise for the benefit of future you? Because you know what, he doesn't deserve this. He he's he's a bad person like you are. Whereas you know, like it's it's weird, but like so much of the world is kind of reliant on thinking you're someone worth the effort from yourself at the bare minimum. Because if you're not worth the effort from you, why are you worth the effort from anyone else around you in your life? You know what? Um, the the cool thing about the internet, like having. YouTubers out here to like listen to is like you know that when you're listening to this video You're not really taking anything from me. I, I made this video Regardless of whether you're listening to it or not obviously your collective viewership determines whether I should make videos in the future They actually your collective viewership employs me you are doing me uh, You know like some form of a favor by watching uh, these videos because you allow me to do what is indeed my dream job uh, as a result of that and uh, but anyway so that the, the but like, you know, you, you know you're getting the free socialization. You're getting all the benefits of uh, being here, but you know you're not uh, impeding on anyone. But like being in a conversation where you know that's not true is really tricky. Like, oh, I'm just taking someone else's time. Uh, it's gotta be really interesting, otherwise it's a waste of their time. And this this leads down some really tricky avenues, in in, in my opinion. Because for instance, um, one, of the, one of the effects I only heard about recently is the airplane effect. So like, have you ever been speaking to someone and then like, as soon as you say you're gonna go, like the conversation just starts flowing so much more and it's really hard to say goodbye. You're like, oh yeah, goodbye, but also I'll see you here. And oh yeah, you hear about, you know, like having conversation is so much more freeing when you're about to go, uh, when you're about to leave a party. Um, I, I've told the story of how I've spoken to people, but never like during a flight. I've spoken to people on a plane, but only as we're getting off the plane. And there's actually a thing, it's called the airplane effect, where like, oh yeah, as soon as people have an out from the situation, you know, you have an out from this plane conversation because you are about to leave the plane, you know, you can just get off and then the person will be gone. You have an out from the social situation. The moment that, you know, like you say goodbye, you know that you can leave at any moment because this is all borrowed time. Living on borrowed time is much better than living on intended time, you know? This is why I think people enjoy, uh, you know, like think about at night, like, oh yeah, you should be you should be asleep right now. I'll just spend, you know, one more, one more turn playing Civ. I'll just spend another half an hour playing Minecraft. And then like that half an hour is some of the best time because it's unintended, you know, any any moment it can it can be gone and you're doing a thing that you enjoy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's, it's a whole interesting like psychology thing, I guess you could say. But I also think it's interesting, by the way, I have no idea how I'm gonna place all this lava. I, you know, should have thought about that first, shouldn't I? Nah, definitely shouldn't have. Um, I guess we'll leave like, 
a stack of dirt in the middle here just to make my life very slightly easier. And then we'll use scaffolding for the rest. So I'll leave this dirted up and then, yeah, then we'll, then we'll work on the rest later. <clears throat> but um, there's this interesting premise that like, you're much more likely to have a conversation with someone. You're much more likely to talk about some, uh, you know, potentially risky subjects, which are where the, where the high reward is. Like, you know, like I, I say this a lot, small talk's not fun. Big talk is fun. Let's talk about the nature of the, let's talk about life and let's talk about the fact that we frame ourselves as good people, but we can't all fundamentally be good people unless all people are good people, which is a belief that we don't all have. So like there is a, a fundamental contradiction between those two ideas. You know, let's let's talk about the big stuff is something I always say. And that's because yeah, big, big talk, it's riskier. It can go really bad places really fast. Um, but also those are the ideas that we're not having all the, those are the discussions we're not having all the time, which is part of what makes them such important discussions to have. And so this video, uh, it's not gonna be the most popular video on the internet. It's a let's play, I know how that goes, but I think it's an important discussion to have that like, you know what, I think sometimes you might be pinning yourselves as the villain unnecessarily. Um, I think also, you, you, you know, there's a chance you're doing both even at the same time. You might be pinning yourself as the villain and being like, oh yeah, the reason for that awkward conversation was because of me, I brought something up. And it's like, no, it's, it's the way they responded, the way they didn't, or the way they didn't respond that made that awkward. You know, it takes two to tango or whatever. Um, when you think of yourself as being a lazy human being because you couldn't get a thing done, it's not because you're you're not uh, you're not objectively a lazy person. You couldn't do that thing in the moment because you couldn't find the motivation. But it does, you know, like finding finding motivation or finding ethic or whatever, like those are things you have to work at. You can't immediately expect to be good. You wouldn't say that you're a bad, um, you're a bad karate artist because on your first day, you don't get a black belt, you know what? You can show my lack, <laughs> you can see my lack of knowledge about uh, karate right here, I feel like, right? But, um, you know, like you, assuming that you are a bad um, person because you, okay, do we, can we place a block here? Huh, we can't, I guess there's a sign on it. It's so weird the way blocks interact in mildly counterintuitive ways, in my opinion. Anyway, so we're gonna take a bunch of dirt, we're gonna take that to our house, including all of this dirt, which I guess we should take. And then we're gonna uh, come back with some lava. It's gonna be great. And actually, you know, I like that this has been a one take let's play. It's like one of the old school ones. They're not, it's not popular on YouTube. People have very short attention spans and you need to appeal to that. And that's something, uh, you know, as a YouTuber, I have to do on some level. But I like this is, this is like one solid take let's play. We're talking about some real issues, which I, I, I know that like, even though it's viewed by fewer people, the people who do seem to view these seem to value, uh, uh, benefit from them. So, you know, if, you, if you've been liking this, let me know. If you haven't, also, please, please do want to be, be honest. Let me know about that too. But, um, yeah, I had a big revelation that, like, you know, it's uh, it's so too easy to see yourself as the good guy in a... But, you know, like, um, something, something I do every now and then is I assume, like, you know what? I think that this person must hate me. Here's the evidence for it. And it's like, actually, wait, this this guy is, like, you know, one of, one of my better friends who's been more loyal than anyone else out there. Like, just a week ago, I was like, oh, yeah, he... He's one of my my friends I trust because he's like, you know, he's he's good, uh, you know, like for, you know, like I, he, he has. I I think I've said this before. I, I value loyalty. I value uh, stuff like that because you know if you don't have loyalty, what what do you have? Etc. 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 So like uh, you know, I, I've got a friend who's really really good like that, and then like he, he he didn't get back to me on a certain thing, and then like didn't get back to me on another thing, and then like uh, has been, uh, you know, like he's like, ooh, I can't something 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 because it's against the law. And like, it's, it's, it's really dumb when I say it like that. Like, oh yeah, so really what I'm saying was the bad, was the thing that made me uh, doubt him was the fact that he didn't want to break the law. But also it's like, yeah, uh, you, you can twist your brain. You can twist logic all sorts of ways. If you just sit there thinking by yourself, because uh, yeah, human interaction requires two people. And if you do it with one person, it's going to get weird and messed up. And uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure I, I don't know how how common that is for people to do. Maybe that's a weird me thing. Maybe that's a weird uh, brain worm thing. There's a there's a there's a worm inside my brain that controls me to be <laughs> uh, weird like that. But anyway, um, I think um, what I'm trying to say about all of this is it's normal to value. Um, it's normal to value certain uh, thing. I, I, it's normal to like try you know, to tell yourself stories about the world that aren't entirely accurate, and that's that's fine. We, we all do it all the time. It's hard to avoid. Also, I love collecting dirt. I always have I always have weird projects involving dirt. So when I have a lot of dirt, I feel pretty pretty good about myself. Also, this this shulker box really needs some more dirt. So we'll take that with us as well. 
so we can we can dig some more put it in here That'll be great. And now we'll also uh, grab a bunch of lava from my desert place Should I be flying around? I kind of have to because there's no better uh, Mode to get around there. Maybe I should have more minecarts going around the sky rail actually that could be smart too Let's think about all these things as I fly everywhere. You know, this is the airplane effect as I fly through the air I I don't I I, I, I have the ability to leave the conversation, but yes yeah, so one of the things I really Shall I take these chests down? I they're the ones I, I filled of sand that one time and I, I think it's just very bizarre <laughs> having 25 chests in the middle of the air But also I don't really want to so I guess we'll just leave that I will take some dirt with me though the dirt sh dirt's a valuable block We shouldn't leave that in there as well as some um, ah, we're not taking that rack. What we are taking though is a bunch of yeah, let's just take all of the all of the lava buckets from here and we'll use those to fill this thing with lava and we'll see if we can get this volcano effect going That'll be nice. But yeah, like one of the things I've always liked is just raw people playing video games Like that's that's the that's the experience that is fun I I like even when people in real life just watch me play a game There's just something chill about actually playing a game and YouTube is on the race for like, you know, attention spans I understand why um, YouTube needs to be that way and I I think it even makes better viewing experiences like I'm not willing to watch someone I don't already like uh, play a game for 40 minutes or whatever this video ends up being. See, there's information that you know that I don't know because it's in the future, even though it's only like 10 minutes in the future. Or is it an hour in the future? I, I don't know for sure. But I really like these, um, one thing I really like about these Let's Plays is um, I really like that, um, I, I really like the like, you know, once you get past like 15 minutes, I can, because of the fact that they have an inconsistent length, which is bad for YouTube, sure, but it's really great for, like having a good conversation because like if, if I do if I if I run out of things that I'd love to talk about We can just be like oh yeah gonna hit end. <laughs> it's as simple as that, right? Um, and I really 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 do like that I I love the idea of like having an out from a conversation because some conversations go on too long But some conversations don't go on long enough. We have this like we must have like pre-programmed times Okay, we want lava there. Oh, how do I place lava there? Do I have to find the sign from underneath? Okay, I don't I think that lava went missing or it went through the sign. I'm not sure which <laughs> Well, you know, okay, we, we found an issue. So anyway, um Yeah, I think uh looking at your surroundings um, Honestly looking at like the people in your life for a more honest lens might help you understand them Sometimes you know, what? there's there's some people who will just do some bad things to you um, because of some silly thing they might gain, you know, like th this is what I think yeah Like to, to explain why I like loyalty people because some people think like you know what? Loyalty is a bad thing when you're loyal to something you're blind and dumb and I agree You know that the same way that people like if their political side Says something they're like, oh, this must be correct, you know being being blind and loyal towards um, Organizations is gonna be a problem because you know like I might really like Oreos now and I might be loyal to the Oreo corporation But like they can change that at any moment and they know that that one of their assets one of their financial benefits is the loyalty of their customers being What you know like this? This is why I like about YouTube to some extent, you know, it's one person who is like uh, In some level at least accountable to you like you you're following them and you're hopefully liking what's going on there and uh, So I, I think loyalty is good Though. Oh god, that was a creep and there's another one. No, so many signs. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, this is why you don't do this at night. Today I've learned, you know, I figured you're like, you know, the world's so lit up normally, but because the world is so lit up everywhere, so many mobs spawn in the few places where it is dark, and it's a bit of a problem. Oh, speaking about a bit of a problem, by the way, because I because I think this is crazy. Um, the uh, the, the Let's Play world, like I said last week, it broke Microsoft sit. You know, I don't even know how it's a thing that you can do. But yeah, I broke I broke the fundamentals of how Minecraft works, which is always a always a pleasure, right? That's that's it's a fun little distinction to have. Oh god. <laughs> this is gonna take a while to fix normally. Or we could not. Or we could just wait. Let's see what happens if we place a lava bucket there. Does that look normal enough or do you think I need to have like pure lava everywhere? Also, oh god, is it gonna flow over the edge? It's not. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, it's gonna be really weird trying to cover this thing in uh, lava. I haven't properly considered how to do that, but that's half the fun of Minecraft sometimes. Just like, have a goal, 
Work out the rest later. It's not a smart way of doing things, but you better believe it's how I do things anyway. And also, you know, see here's where all that Nevrak's gonna come in handy. Can fix my previous issue. It's funny that like all these years in, one of the biggest like threats to any Minecraft world is still, still <laughs> like a creeper explosion. Like, yep, you can lose a lot of work from one creeper explosion, huh? And that, that does in fact be a bad thing. Okay, so we're gonna, it's gonna be a slightly different shape than it was before. Not for any particularly huge reason, other than like, you know what? I like that. I, I, I like that it's an unnatural shape. And I like that now that creeper explosion has like shifted it forever. But yeah, I think loyalty is good because like, um, if you, having trust in people is kind of important to know that they're not, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I guess trust is maybe a better phrase than loyalty. Loyalty implies, um, okay, can we place the sign there? We can't, I guess there must not be a block down there for me to place the sign on. Okay, is there, is, ah, I, I am in fact correct about that. So we've got to place a block there, and then we can place a sign on the side of that block. I don't know how that lava didn't light me on fire, but I'm glad it didn't. So we place it there, and then we place one on there. Is this even go, Hey, we did it. I found the solution. And then we place a sign there, and a sign there, and yeah. <laughs> This is very bizarre to get to this point, but we have in fact fixed the lava explosion, which is half the fun of Minecraft. Fixing fixing what goes wrong. You can prevent things going wrong and that's probably ideal, but also know how to fix them when they do. That seems like a smart thing to know as well. Anyway, speaking of smart things to know, by the way, for most of this rim, I could probably have used Nevrak, and then I could have just used signs for the specific opening. But I kind of want the entire thing to be jumpable into. Like I want people to jump into the rim and then realize they're still alive. Obviously most people, if you're watching this video, you're not gonna be surprised. But I want someone who's downloading this world and looking at it to one day be like, oh yeah, that is a interesting experience, huh? That's all I really want from the world. But anyway, yeah, so I, I think um, if you don't have trust in someone thing, if you don't have loyalty to something, uh, yeah, the reason those things are uh, valuable to me, the reason I care about those things, um, because if you don't have them, you are just in a, you know, like, if you don't have trust, if you don't have loyalty, you're just kind of following things how they be. You know, you're in a constant state. All it takes is one misunderstanding and you assume, oh yeah, this person sucks. I had a misunderstanding, therefore they're bad. Whereas being able to like, being able to know that like, oh yeah, this person just made a mistake or maybe I misunderstood the situation. Uh, you can't assume that about everyone. There are some poorly intentioned people who will take advantage of you if you assume that everyone around you is always is always great all the time. You know, we live in societies where that's sadly, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice if we lived in the in the you know the, the the tiny villages that our brains are kind of meant for, the the small hunter gatherer tribes. You know, sure, maybe there's something to that, but I I think like when we live in the uh, the world we have, you have to form trust of people, and if you don't have trust of people. It's very hard to have anything. I think um, you know a lot of a lot of our human issues come from like being isolated from other human beings because you know as it turns out we're as we're a social species. The one thing we have uh, that other creatures don't like the 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 thing that we have the ability to do is to create ideas together. That you know like the people say that the thing that makes humans so smart is tools, and you know there's there's some truth to that, sure. But I think it's ideas that make humans incredible. We can like create concepts from thin air. Like, you know, um, this is a, this is a, a thing I, I was reading Homo Deus recently. If you, if you haven't read it, it's, it's a fun, fun book about the future of humanity. Obviously it's just written by a guy. Um, and so, you know, I, I think he's a philosopher. Like it, it's, a, I, but, but like, it's, it's just written by a person. So like, obviously this is like just some, some thoughts that I read in a book and now I'm reciting to you because you know what? the the person said some things that were trustworthy to me. And uh, so like, it, but like, um, you know, the, the fact that like a cat, as best we can tell, ne like even though they like birds and they like mice, they can't come up with the concept of like, you know, like they can't come up with shared concepts. Like one cat can't be like, oh yeah, there is a mystical bird in the sky over there. And if you do good things, then the mystical bird in the sky rewards you. They, they can only imagine real things. Our ability to imagine fake things, I mean, it's it's hard to explain what the fake things are without like breaking breaking how your mind works. Like, oh yeah, 
the concept of government only works when everyone agrees in it. You might think, you know, whether or not you believe in the government, there is still one. And that's true. You personally cannot create and dissolve a government. But if everyone collectively thinks that police have... It's like the whole, like, uh, if, if no one pays their taxes, they can't arrest everyone. The, the one threat they have to get people under control, if they don't pay taxes, is imprisoning people. But there is also a fixed number of prison spaces. If every single person does not pay taxes, then taxes cease to exist as a concept. Um, yeah, you know, like, there's, there's a lot of it's a similar principle of money, right? Money only exists because people agree to take it. The, you know, the, the dollar bills... Uh, see, look at that, by the way. It's so weird what is happening there. I wonder what the scoop is. Okay. There we go. That worked that time. I guess maybe I was placing it on the side of the thing. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense. What does make sense, though, is this delightful little crater I made in the ground. And what does make sense is that... You know, I, uh, one of the things I like about this YouTube channel is uh, that I generally do trust, for the most part, uh, the people who watch these things. I've said this before. Also, I love this little square of just nothingness. I kind of want to keep that. We're going to need a lot of lava to fill this uh, mountain up entirely. A part of me wants to wait until caves and cliffs because lava gets so much easier to farm and mass on mass then. Um, but you know what, for now, all we need to know is that, you know, that's that's a thing we're dealing with. In the meantime, let's go under here and let's get all of this dirt up and let's get down to the stone layer. And from stone, we can work out like, should we mine down at that? Or is this a big enough little secret in every area? Again, we can we can answer these questions as we get there. But the, the thing we can't answer is, um, you know what? Uh, let's let's do some small talk. I'm, I'm just kidding. Let's not do small talk. These, uh, these let's plays get like more and more in depth and I, I feel like ranty as we go on and so one of the things I want to say is like you know what? if you enjoy these uh, sorts of videos just know that like I'm always working on <laughs> making them less like this and that's a weird thing to say you know YouTube's meant to say you know what? I make things exactly how you the audience want them to be you know like the whole like if this gets 10,000 likes we'll do this thing you know I do the thing because you show you like it via likes you know there's lots of there's lots of made-up concepts where you try to put the subscribers of your channel in control of it, air quotes, but really you're the one still doing the things and you, you know, it's just like a way to build like, uh, you know, it's, it's to make people feel like they're a part of it. And you know, I, I do actually think the subscribers are a big part of what makes this channel how it is, but not because you, you, you micromanage and decide how the videos should be because that's, that's like a hard, that's like a giant topic that's so hard to dive into. You have ideas, I like to hear them, but uh, they are just that. If you tell me an idea, it's not a promise that I'll make a video from that. Um, and uh, maybe maybe that's demotivating to some people. Maybe some people say that and they're like, you know what, Soycat? You, you, you're saying true words, but you shouldn't be saying them. It makes you mean. Maybe that's some truth behind it too. But what I also think is true is that it's really important uh, to do, you know, like I, I, I value, you know, on, on the internet, you have to follow the system. And I, I, I value the idea of like, yep, that's, that's, that's how it is. That if you're not reaching people, then you can claim to be the winner all you like. But like, so uh, one of my favorite things is, um, there's this, um, well, not one of my favorite things. One of the most interesting case studies in how it, the internet works, there is this uh, author. They make things. Uh, they sometimes make videos too, but they mostly write things. They write like a blog post a month, I want to say. It, 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 like they do They do very little uh, stuff. And if you look at the, the like, uh, the metric, the number of people who watch it, it's in the dozens, uh, but what they do is their their favorite thing is like they every every now and then they like simulate an attack on themselves and they'll or like not even simulated. Lots of people do hate this this person. I'm not even gonna name them just because of how uh, like divisive the name can even be. But like um you know they, and then what they do is they're like oh we're being attacked just because we're trying to fund this new series about this thing we're doing, and so everyone's like oh yeah I can't believe it and then they like give you know, the Kickstarter, a bunch of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then the, 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 the people disappear into nothingness for a while again. They make their blog posts with 12 views once a month or something, because no, one, no one's interested in them. No one's actually caring about their opinions. They care about the ideas behind them. They, they care, you know, like, and this is, uh, this is something we see all, all too often in society. People willing to play the victim or the bad guy, whatever else, um, just to get, you know, money and temporary attention. But I think what's way more important is appealing to the people in the longer run than that. I think what's important is not uh, you know making something that someone wants to like. It's making something 
that someone does like. I think ideally you, you make something that someone, you, you make the thing that someone wants to like and that they also do like. But uh, that's something I'm always trying with my YouTube channel and a lot of the time I'm failing and I'm, you know, like like this video right here. This was 46 minutes of, of non-cut Minecraft making a, a volcano. Was it good or was it a nightmare? You know, like it doesn't, people, people see editing and cuts and all that stuff as the quality. So we just don't have that quality, right? We are, uh, you know, like, and so therefore it's a bad video. Or is it? I, I don't know for sure. It's a, uh, the only metric that can truly be equal is the, you know, the ones we see on YouTube. And that that's why those are my opinions. Even though, uh, obviously, like, just because something's on the top of YouTube doesn't make it objectively good. But just because something's on the bottom of YouTube doesn't also make it objectively good. In fact, it makes it very likely that it's not because very few people are going out of their way to find and see the thing. So thank you to anyone who went out of their way to watch this video. Thank you to everyone who makes uh, this very fun thing that I do for a living possible. And thank you um, for, I guess, being here and helping me on the road to two million subscribers. It's been it's been a fun little ride and I'm, I'm looking forward to the next year being different than the last few, but hopefully in a good way. Hopefully in a good way. I'm making some some positive changes to my life and some even more positive changes to the channel. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe this is all terrible and you're like, Toy Cat, I like, I like the, I, cause it's interesting. Every time there's a change, people dislike the change. Now that I, I, this is like an old school style Let's Play. I'm sure there are some people like, you know what? Actually I preferred, I kind of preferred the way it was before. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm always trying new things with the, like very slightly different things with the formats of the Let's Plays and the Seed Sundays and the Q and A's. And all I ask is, uh, give it a try. Give it a try. Um, thank you, and also, you know what? I uh, I feel really bad about missing a video. Um, it's something I, I try to feel less bad about, but it's something that I think is important. Like, the, <laughs> it's, it's weird. Like, having this, like, eternal crushing pressure on yourself is something that we think of as bad often. But I think, oh, also I had a whole shulker box I was filling with grass blocks I think got about. Uh, you know, that's what I should really be remembering. You know, it's like, yeah, just remember, remember the shulker boxes you take places. That's, that's what I really need to start doing because otherwise I end up with this. Look how much of a mess this is. Also, why do I have ladders in here? What should I do with those ladders? This is a question I'm gonna put off to you for the comments. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. The Let's Play is coming to the marketplace soon. I've said that forever, so you don't have to trust me on this one. But uh, it, it looks like we finally got over the roadblocks, and I'm excited to share that with you. Thank you. Hope you have a nice Monday evening, and I'll see you all in the British Empire. Goodbye. I mean, this is just a fun flag. This is, I, I still love that we could make this. Isn't this, this looks like Westeros now. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.